Good evening, folks, and welcome to Alien Addict. Now, before I go any further with this mammoth of an interview that I haven't actually finished editing yet, uh, I want to say a massive thank you to Dasha Strand and Gordon and Gail Milne. Um, I hope that's how you pronounce your surname, by the way. Um, but, guys, thank you so much uh, for coming on board with the Patreon. Uh, Dasha, I I wasn't sure what you wanted image-wise, so I felt a, bit, a little bit of inspiration from my little boy watching uh, The Incredibles, and I, I wondered if your name ever gets shortened to Dash. So here we go. This is this is your little bit. This is your image that I did for you, um, and this is Dash running away uh, from Area Fifty One um, with a UFO chasing him, and he's uh, he's got my merch on that I I don't have any merch. Maybe one day. I don't know if it'll be on red. Possibly. Uh, and Gordon and Gail Milne, I created this for you. You guys said you liked um, UFOs, uh, ancient aliens, Bigfoot, and ghosts. The ghost is inside the temple. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys like it. And thank you so much for coming on board with the Patreon page. Um, without further ado, guys, and I will warn you, there is a lot of swearing in this video. I don't know whether to edit the swearing out or not, but it will take me a long time. Thanks for that, Kyle. Um, I give you my interview with UFO Proof. Good evening, folks, and welcome to Alien Addict. We have none other than Kyle from UFO Proof, and we go way back. <laughs> What's up, Oliver? How you been, buddy? <laughs> I'm good, mate. I'm good. Um, how have you been, my friend? Terrible, it's been a, but... It's been a long time. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, was, um, uh, I, haven't, been, um, I haven't been on even, even my channel. Uh, I haven't been making uh, videos for a little while. Um, you know, I uh, I just recently broke up with, uh, with my girlfriend, and you know, we we, we separated, and, um, and she moved out of state, and so it's just uh, it's just me, and uh, Andromeda, it's just us two, and so it's been kind of hard. Hey, hi, Oliver. Hey, hi. <laughs> good night, mate. She's waving. <laughs> ah, good girl. <laughs> She's so smart. Uh, it's just been. It's just been us, so um, you know. You just say uh, you don't want to like when you're when you're depressed and shit like that. You don't want to bring that into the videos. Um, you know, people pick up on it. It's just and it's you know making videos is something I love to do. So if you know if you know I'm sad when I'm you know, you know trying to make a video, it comes out in the video, and then and yeah. then it's like I don't want to watch it. Yeah, I like I, I watch my own videos. Like I put a video, it's like it's like, you know, I'm a huge fan of myself. <laughs> I'm like, that's yeah, funny as hell. You know, I'm a huge fan of myself. And I watch my videos. And so if I put out a video where I'm like, yeah, I could just tell I'm fucking just not feeling it, you know. I just like I don't want to watch it. So <laughs> So there's there's a couple of reasons why I wanted to get you on. Uh number one, to settle some old beef where we uh, where I accused you of maybe not telling the truth about your UFO experience. So, um, and secondly, you, you call me an alcoholic, which you are right. <laughs> I think it, I'm pretty sure it was you who told me you were an alcoholic, but. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so we have you on yeah. um, the show uh, to discuss your experience so sure, absolutely and there's um, more than one you want to start? all right so, i want you to start with the one you feel like you need to start with um the black sphere because that the, is uh that that's not my first encounter but it is it's a one of the closest encounters uh that i've ever had so um you know it's one of my 
and, and it, you know, when it happened, I had other witnesses with me and stuff. It's all like, it's like my go-to fucking experience, you know? Um, we'll stop from that then. <laughs> all right. So, uh, it was, um, July 3rd of, uh, 2011. And it's about, uh, you know, 5.45 in the afternoon or something like that. Um, during the whole 4th of July, like the first, like the first four days of July in Indiana, people start lighting off fireworks. So you don't, you don't just wait until the 4th to see fireworks. So, uh, it was July 3rd and I'm uh, on my roof watching fireworks, but I have on my UFO hunting gear. Now I'd already had, you know, uh, a few UFO sightings, but I wasn't you know too sure about what was going on but uh, i started you know buying equipment and you know i built a ufo hunting platform on my roof um and so i'm up there and i got lasers and cameras and all this stuff and um and there's something that happened before my my sighting and i honestly i never even thought about it until just years later it just never popped up but uh out of uh, an owl <laughs> landed on this tree that was like 10 feet from me that's hanging over my roof and this fucking owl was just staring at me and i was like ah it, like i was afraid of the owl i'm not gonna lie okay because it was like 10 feet it was like this fucking owl just sitting there. i was like oh shit dude and um i had a bb gun with me and i was just like fuck it and i was like pop just just scare him away and he didn't fucking move and i was like oh what, you okay maybe shot. i missed I went to shoot. I shot him. I did shoot him. I fucking aimed. I was a bam. And he didn't move. That's, that's and a, I was like, okay, so fucking owl. I missed. It's an owl. Are they endangered or something? It scared me, dude. Okay, what do you fucking want? I didn't trust the motherfucker, dude. It was looking at me all crazy. And I was like, this bird's going to fucking attack me or some shit. Like, I, it, it's a fucking, an owl is a predator bird. Fucking, it's a badass. And I was afraid. I'm not going to lie. Okay. And so I shot him. But it didn't do anything. And so I'm like, okay, well, maybe I just missed him. So now I fucking take like dead aim on him and pop and he doesn't move. And I'm like, I got full CO2 and BBs. I got full CO2 cartridge and BBs in my gun. And so I have a laser, a high powered green laser on it. And I uh, turn the laser on and I'm beaming the owl that's only 10 feet from me. I'm beaming him with the laser. So I got him dead locked on. And I unload the fucking the, the BB gun. I'm like, pop, 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 pop. And it don't fucking move. It's just sitting there. I'm just like, at that point, I'm like, all right, dude. I guess I guess we're partners now or something. And I was like, all right, here we go, dude. And it fucking was like, ah, and fucking just flew away, dude. Scared the crap out of me. <laughs> you know, but that's what I was worried of it doing in the first place, you know. But I'm, I don't know what it has to do with the UFO. But I just, I didn't even think about it until years later. I'm like, you know what? I unloaded on this fucking bird and nothing happened. It didn't do anything. Now, I don't know how I could have possibly missed. I'm telling you, this big fucking owl is 10 feet from me and I'm fucking got him targeted with a high powered green laser. You know, I'm like, how could I possibly have missed? But I fucking, it didn't do anything. It didn't phase him. And then. Have you ever seen the fourth kind? Yes, I have. Um, and uh, that's what, that's the thing, it, you know, it wasn't until I saw the fourth kind that I was like, you know what? That fucking crazy ass owl was there. And I shot his ass and he didn't. And I was like, and I didn't even think about that, that incident happening it, because of the, the UFO sighting over power was just overshadowed that mm -hmm. other strange event, you know? Hey, you get out of there, whatever you're doing. <laughs> um, it just, it kind of over, overshadowed the, uh, the, that owl event. <laughs> You know, so it's like I never even thought about it. And then, then I saw the movie and I was like, oh, yeah, you know, I'm like, that's kind of interesting. But. um, So. Now, the. I'm sitting there and I'm watching fireworks go off. And and I'm telling you, dude, on my fucking life. A black four foot sphere, okay, maybe four, you know, yeah, about four feet in diameter. I mean, what it looked like. 
No, you can't play the bass. She wants to play my bass, sorry. But this, this four foot black sphere literally comes out of nothing. And I'm talking, it looked like a ball coming through a blue wall, like a wall made out of the sky. It just like, it fucking like, it just, you could just see it just go like, right there and you're almost like holy shit dude like i seen it happen and then i'm like what the fuck and it sh- put me in shock was this in front and of the owl was this, is no. this where the owl was i'm still in the same position okay so where i saw the owl the owl was um on the left side of me and the ufo appeared out in this fucking direction so it's basically in front of me but off to the right a little bit Okay, so Al was over here, and he already flew away, and now the UFO is over here. And so, um, it starts coming towards me, and, you know, it didn't, it didn't bother me in the least that it was uh, coming towards me. <laughs> like, I don't know why. You would think it would be kind of freaky, but I was like, uh, I just, like, you just kind of like expect it. I was just like, okay, it's like, it was so close that I'm like, there's, it's going to like, it looked like it was there for me. Like, it was just like, Hey, what's up? And it came right over top of me and just sitting there spinning. And so I'm sitting there staring at this thing and it's a fucking, it's a black sphere made of metal. <laughs> How do you know yeah, it was made of metal? I, it's this black sphere made of metal and it, <laughs> Kyle, how do you know it was made out of metal? What's up? How do you know it was made out of metal? It looked like metal. I don't know it was made out of metal. I didn't touch it. But it looked like um, like a piece of metal does in the sun. It didn't look like a plastic or it didn't look like, you know, like you just like that's the best way to describe it. I don't know if it was metal, but that's what it looked like. Uh, and it wasn't it was like um, it was like even kind of like just dark, like dingy. You know, it didn't even look like special fucking alien black metal. It just looked like just black metal, like, you know, like fucking kind of like stovepipe metal or something, man, or or gun black metal. Um, And the was it, it, had, it had nothing on it. It was perfectly <laughs> spherical. And it had these real thin lines that went from the bottom up to a center line that went around it. And I'm talking you know, thinner than pe- pencil thin. I'm talking super fucking thin. And uh, and there, there was maybe like like eight of them, you know, so they were spaced out kind of, you know, evenly around it. And it's just sitting there spinning. And um, I had lasers in my hand. And I had, I had cameras. I had video cameras. I had fucking regular disposable cameras. I had everything right sitting right next to me. And I didn't even, it didn't even cross my fucking mind for a second to consider going in and trying to grab a camera. And the only reason that, that I just lucked out at the fact that I had a laser and I wouldn't have even tried to use the laser. So it was already in my hand and I'm basically, my fucking hand is on the button ready to push it, period. It was already like that when the UFO appeared. And it's like, I wasn't even really thinking about it. And I just did it. I just like my hand just squeezed it. And I hit the UFO with the laser that's directly above me. And as second I see the laser hit the UFO, all the thoughts in my head echoed like, ah, like they made this fucking, it was like, ah, like everything just kind of fucking like echoed around me. Like all my thoughts did like it. I mean, like it's you know just the way to describe it. I don't know how else to describe it. But that's just what the sensation was like. And it did that. And and it scared me and I let go of the laser. I was like, Oh my God, you know, like it freaked me out. And now I'm just sitting there staring at this thing and it's it stayed there for a couple more seconds, just spinning. And I'm telling you, this thing is literally eight feet from me. Okay. And, uh, and I'm fucking, you know, I'm like six one. So I'm telling you, if I stood up, I could have touched it. <laughs> okay. It was right fucking there. I mean, it was directly above me. This just black fucking sphere. And so it starts floating away right directly over where the fucking owl was to disappear. It starts going over the tree. And I'm like, okay, I got to tell my my sister and my brother-in-law because I told them I'd seen some fucking UFOs and they want to see one. And, 
And so I jump off the roof and I run in through the bedroom or through the window, then down the hall to the bedroom. I tell my brother and sister, I'm like, hey, you know, the probe, I start yelling, the probe's back, the probe's back. Because I had had some other sightings of what I called probe UFOs. And so uh, my brother-in-law at the time, Dan, he's like, I want to see, gets up. He's in his boxers, doesn't give a fuck. He's like, look, can we, is it still outside? I'm like, well, it's floating away, I'm sure, dude. Because, you know, I watched it start flowing over the tree. I'm like, but I bet you if we run out to the street, we might be able to see it. And he's like, fuck it, let's do it. So now we run down the hallway, run down the stairs. All this time, you know, I open up the front door. And as soon as we open up the front door, it's sitting in a driveway, just spinning. At fucking, the, my fucking brother-in-law said, fuck like he fucking flipped he was like oh fuck dude like he he it fucking shocked him he was not ready to see that at all <laughs> and it shocked me even i was like oh my god dude. like i knew i was gonna run out there and see it but i didn't think it would be in the driveway just spinning and it's funny i'm looking at the ufo like it's, you know basically it's at my like uh, it's at my um like my two o'clock and there's a family <laughs> of like fucking 10 people in the street lighting off f fireworks completely fucking oblivious dude and i'm just like oh my god like it was just blowing my mind just that whole scene i'm watching this i'm seeing this thing spin and these people are sitting there lighting off fireworks and i'm like oh my god like what the fuck and so then i start i'm like i'm gonna i want to walk up to it and i start walking and i first for a second i thought like it was producing some kind of gravitational wave that was pushing me away but it wasn't, it was my fucking brother-in-law. He's got the back of my shirt and he's fucking pulling me. He's like, wait, wait, stop, stop, stop. Like he's freaked out. He's like, don't, 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 don't. And I'm like, don't, don't worry, don't worry, man. I'm like, just don't, let me go. I start fucking walking towards it. And I notice as I take a step towards it, it starts moving backwards. But when I stopped, it stopped. So it always stayed the same distance away from me. And I'm like, mm, it's that. And once I realized that, it pissed me off. And I'm like, you motherfucker. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to try to run to it. And I just fucking start going like this. And it just, not fast even, it's slow. Out into the street. And it just starts going up at like a 30 degree angle. And I run out to the street. Dan runs out to the street. And we hear this little girl start saying, Daddy, is he in his boxers? And our neighbor's like, hey, Dan, what are you doing? You know, and Dan's like, dude, look. And um, he sees the fucking UFO. And so he's like, kids, kids, everybody, look at this, you know. And so the whole family sees it. And then Candace comes out and she sees it, you know, and she's like, oh, my God, like the, all of us saw it. Dude. Other people who, who are on the street saw it, you know, not just our neighbors. <laughs> you know, like everyone fucking sees it, this black sphere UFO. And I mean, like. <laughs> it just started floating away. And uh, and people record these black sphere UFOs all the time, dude. And, um, so and I'm telling you, before you go any further with that. When your neighbor saw the sphere, how far yeah. was it away from your neighbor? Um, my neighbor was fucking right on the street. And by the time he saw it, it was maybe, I don't know, 50 feet maybe from him. But you know? he, had, he, had a, he had a reaction as if to say, Sh shit. Oh, he fucking, he was like, he was like, Oh shit! Like he was like, hey, hey, kids! He was telling all his kids because they were all lighting off fireworks, so they weren't paying attention to the anything else was going on. What and was when he doing to make it, it like, him think that it was something special, though? Because if I was fifty, if I were fifty feet away from an a, a sphere, at first yeah. glance, I might think that's just a fucking balloon. You know what I mean? You know, that's the thing. Um, so what did your it neighbor like, see that made him it, it, shocked? It sounds like that that's how it would be. It seems like in your mind, that's the most logical step. That's that's where your mind is gonna go. Okay. Well, if I saw a black sphere, you know, I might think it's a it's a balloon or something. When you see a UFO, when you see a real UFO, there is no denying what's happening. When you yeah. see it, you instantly know. This does not belong here. It's I'm not saying that you thought it was a that it could have been a balloon for you. I'm on about your neighbor that when it was 50 feet away from him, yeah. why did he think straight away, "Wow, that's a UFO"? Because that's that's the whole that's what I'm trying to explain. When it's a real UFO, that's just what happens. 
you that's what I want you to tell me. What what if how you saw, how if you saw it? Yeah, if you saw it, if you were there, Oliver, you would have known instantly that that thing didn't belong here. Uh, like in our earth, like on our fucking in our reality, that thing does not fit in. If you just know instantly, like you just it's because just something the movement like, just like it is, you know. Is it what it's movement or I mean, like, yeah, like it's the way the way it moves. I mean, like, it feels like when you when you see it, it feels like it's alive, like it's watching you. And it just has a to- it's like there's no way to compare it to anything, you know. Ex- the only way I compare it when I tell it to people is like, um, is if you uh, if you see a predator, you know, if you were to just walk up on a fucking a wild predator, you fucking know, <laughs> you know, like if you know. If a fucking if, if a lion is looking at you like it's gonna fucking eat you, it's not. It doesn't have to come out and say I'm gonna eat you. You know this fucking thing is stalking me. Like it's looking at you. It has this look, and you just know instantly. Oh fuck, dude. You know you gotta. You just know, and that's just how it is with the UFO. You just you know you're like, oh, this ain't right. That ain't right. You know like it's uh, there is no. I'm like you. You just feel it. You just sense it. You know it doesn't. There's something so different about it that. You know, it just it doesn't belong in our uh, in our world, and so it just kind of stands out. Um, yeah, it's because he as soon as he saw it, careful, Nick. As soon as he saw it, um, he was like, "Oh, kids, kids, look at this, look at this!" You know, like blah blah blah, like you know, like you just knew, like everybody knew, like yeah. You know, as soon as I saw it, Candace and Dan saw it, I mean, like you're just like, "What the fuck? That ain't it ain't fucking right, man." You know. Go ahead. Nick. Do you, need, do you need a minute, mate? Uh, yeah, give me one second. Hang on. Anyway, uh, all right, so where were we? Okay, so, yeah, we were, you was talking about the, I, I, I was asking you about the, the guy that was 50 feet away, um, why he thought it was a UFO. <laughs> Yeah, and like I was saying, it's uh, um, you just know instantly, like you know, like it, like um, uh, if you've never seen a shark <laughs> before, you know, you would fucking know, like oh fuck, like this fucking, you know, that thing is fucking a badass, you know, you don't, you wouldn't have to ever hear uh, a story about a shark, <laughs> you know, if you were just to see one in the fucking wild, you would fucking know this shit is fucking hardcore, <laughs> you know, like this is a, you know, you just know. And that's just how it is with the UFO. You're just like, whoa, fucking that don't belong here, man. You know, like it's fucking it's it's fucking cool. It's intense, man. You know, (laughs) did you notice any sort of reflection? Like, could you see like when it was close to you, could you see any sort of light reflecting off it? No, uh -uh. the fireworks that were going off and things like that. No, you know, actually. The only thing you could see reflecting off of it was the red sun, like, because the sun was setting. So you could see, like, the fucking, the discoloration. So it had, like, a fucking purplish kind of tint at the upper top, you know, because of the reflection of the fucking, you know. But, I mean, like, I didn't see any um, trees or anything like that, you know, or fireworks. And it wasn't a good reflection like that. Just enough to, like, kind of cast a different color of dull light. Let me get the top smooth, but the underneath is like a basketball that's it's all smooth perfectly but that you know when i say a basketball i'm just trying to describe if you know, you're like looking at it from underneath just the way the lines went and the lines are just like these real paper thin fucking like slits that kind of went up them you know and just it was like every so often like there was probably like a total of eight so it wasn't like a bunch of lines just like kind of you know maybe cut into four or something like that you know like you know they're just these real like thin little that's what it looked like, you know. There could have been stuff on top of it, maybe I didn't see. I have no idea, but it just that's it's just this black I, sphere. Dude. I will put uh, in the description below uh, your original story um, f- for for this. Um, I don't remember you ever saying if it had any sound to it or anything like that. Did, could you hear yeah. any make any noise whatsoever? Yeah. Not a not a fucking peep, dude. And you know, um. And it's like when you um, 
<clears throat> when you see like um, a balloon, okay, um, a balloon has a certain way that it acts <clears throat> outside, period. Yeah. You period. There's nothing you can do about it. You know that's a balloon. You know, this thing just totally has its own fucking thing. Like, it, there's no way a balloon could ever do what this thing did. And it's not like this thing did some crazy fucking maneuvers. It's what this thing didn't do, you know? It's like, there was no reaction for it, you know? Like, the wind, fucking whatever, boom, it was fucking static. So it fucking was, like, locked into space. And fuck it would move like that, fucking perfectly static. There was no shifting of fucking, there, there was no gyration. There was, I mean, it was fucking locked into space, fucking moving perfectly, dude. You know, it, it, it was, it didn't move like anything you'd ever seen. Like it's, it was so fucking perfect that it just, it, you know, it didn't, it didn't seem right. <laughs> so, so when it appeared originally, you, you said it came like appeared from like just came through like it was cutting through paper or something like. Yeah, like, yeah a like a ball, like, like you see a ball coming, you know, like how is that, that? Is that through thin air? Yeah, and just like fucking all, like you all you see at first was just a a little black fucking a little black sphere, and then like a bigger black sphere and a bigger black sphere, and you see a like a line around the fucking side of it where it looks like it's coming through a wall, like you're like what the fuck, like it don't look right. And then, the, you, you know, it gets to the biggest point of the sphere and then it starts getting smaller, you know, as the whole sphere just kind of whoop and come out, you know, but it all happens like real quick. Something really interesting from from the video, which I've just watched before this, um, is where you cough for a moment, where, you, where you're trying to start to tell us the story about the sphere. And it looks like you're getting a bit choked up or um, emotional about it mm -hmm. it um it's still you know it fucking uh it still it still affects me today you know um and uh when i told that when i told that story you know that was um that was the first time i'd ever told it you know, and so um, I've been doing UFO proof for a while and I had my own experiences and shit, um, but I didn't want to uh, I didn't want to share them with people, you know, because I'm like, I don't know if I can handle people calling me crazy, you know, and saying that I'm wrong because it happened to me. It actually fucking happened to me. It fucking real. It really fucking happened. I saw it, my fucking brother-in-law saw it, my sister saw it, our neighbors saw it. It actually fucking happened. Did and anybody report it? No, uh-uh. You know, and I had already, I had already made a, a report to a, a UFO sighting that I had had before to MUFON. And that, making that report caused me to not want to make any more reports because I kept seeing UFOs. And I'm like, if... And I didn't know anything about UFOs, you know, so I didn't understand how, how it worked or anything, you know. And so I just assumed, I'm like, you know what, if I keep reporting these fucking UFOs, they're going to think I'm crazy, you know. I'm like, you know, I'm like no one's going to fucking believe me. And but you so, understand now how this looks to some people. Yeah, you, correct. Because this is like the best, one of the best sightings that anybody's spoken about. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, I think it's pretty good, you know. I think it's oh, like no, it is, it is. I definitely, I, 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 you I know, that it's it's great, but you know, but that, it actually happened. <laughs> it's not that exciting, and it's not like um. Have you ever you know, thought about getting some of the witnesses on? Now, is is he still your brother-in-law? No, he's not my brother-in-law anymore. But I still have my twin sister. <laughs> Do you still speak to your brother, uh, ex-brother-in-law? No, not really. No. You know, but uh, I'm sure I could, but, you know, he's, uh, you know, he's a fucking fuckwit and a half, dude. <laughs> you know, like, he fucking, 
know, you know, he, he fucking, you know, he was terrible to my sister and shit like that, dude. You know, I ended up having to fucking whoop his ass a couple times, dude. You know, and so I was like, fucking, um, uh, but even even with the ass whoopings, he'd still fucking, he'd still tell you exactly, he'd tell you what happened. Yeah, I mean, just give him a call to say, look, listen, I know we've got some some beef, but I'll um, tell you the truth. I've actually thought about doing that, you know, because I'm like, hey, it'd be, it would be kind of cool to get him and fucking, you know, to help fucking, you know, tell what happened to fucking and have my twin sister tell her side of what happened and shit, you know, because I mean, like, we all saw it, you know, we all have our own fucking, you know. Uh, you, um, how many times do you do you think to yourself, I wish I'd have grabbed that camera? <laughs> you know, it, it, um, doesn't bother me as bad as you you think it would like i know it doesn't bother me as bad as uh you know other times simply because dan and candace my my twin and my fucking ex-brother-in-law were there to see it with me and like you know to see it in the driveway and shit like that it's not something you there's no mistaking it you know it's not something you forget and you know it's like um it's a big fucking deal like you're like what the fuck like you know, like, cause like all of, all of a sudden it, it became real. Like, uh, you know, like the, 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 the legends were true, you know, like, you know, all of a sudden, like a fucking, a mystery just became fucking reality when you're like, Oh my God. You're like, <laughs> you know, it could go, it could have gone either way. It could have been fucking, you know, the same as fucking, you know, I don't believe in ghosts. I don't believe in the fucking, you know, it, you know, I don't believe in any of that shit, dude. I didn't believe in UFOs, but I started seeing them. And then you had, I had that experience and I'm like, that's it. And it's funny because after it fucking floated away, I went into the house and I started screaming. I fucking knew it. I fucking knew it. And I was fucking, I was going on. Oh, I was fucking screaming. I fucking knew it, you know? Uh, yeah, because you mentioned before that you said that you, you ran inside and said the sphere's back. So you've yeah, seen this thing back. before. The, the probe's back, yeah. Probe's back, sorry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd seen some other UFO. I had, you know, I've been having a few different sightings. Um, this same object? I, no. You know, like, um, of smaller UFOs that were um, balls of light. Uh, and then one of them was a, um, it, was, uh, it was really weird, too. It was a ball of light and then a space. And then a bar of light, and then a space, and then a ball of light, and a space, and a uh, a bar of light, and this fucking thing floated, and it came in, it circled around me, and I mean it was probably like maybe you know 30, 40 feet, fucking circling around my house, dude, fucking these fucking balls of light, like I mean like I was like what the fuck? You don't like, took any mushrooms, I did. No, uh, may, it's possible. I mean, you know, but uh, I'm, you know, fucking, I'm just telling you what I saw. <laughs> that's what I, that's what I fucking saw, you know. And it was, I was like, what the fuck? But even then, at that point, I was like, well, you know what? They're they're balls of light. I'm like, I don't. Maybe it was uh, attached to something that I couldn't see or something. I was like, I was still trying to, you know, I got a real skeptical mind, you know. And so I was still at that point trying to fucking be like, eh, you know, just it can't be UFOs. It can't be UFOs, you know. But it was. <laughs> so you'd built a UFO uh, platform. Mm -hmm. So take us take us back to what made you kind of think I need to build a platform. Was was that platform just to hunt UFOs? Yes. Not to try and shoot owls. No. No, a hundred percent. Just to Kyle, please don't shoot any more owls. I'm sorry, man, okay? But you know what? If you, the motherfucker ran up on you, you would have done the same thing. Okay? <laughs> it freaked me out, dude. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah take, no, it, I, take us back to the to, to why you built a platform. So I started, you know, I, I was having all these different sightings of UFOs, and at, I was, um, I even, um, I got to the point, you know, like that work. Uh, I hadn't talked to my parents in, in years and I'm like, oh, I gotta, I gotta call mom and dad and, uh, my, my twin and I, I'm like, we, we gotta talk, we gotta talk to my parents. Um, and so we sat on speakerphone and I'm like, um, 
listen, you guys, I'm having auditory and visual hallucinations. And I think there might be something wrong with me. <laughs> and uh, they're like, what are you talking about? I'm like, you know, like, I thought like I was schizophrenic or something. And I'm like, I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing things, you know? And they're like, what are you seeing? And I'm like, UFOs. <laughs> and they're like, we, you know, UFOs. And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, oh, oh so you're, you're, you're hallucinating it. I'm like, well, I, I think I am, you know, um, but I fucking caught them on tape and shit, you know? And I'm like, uh, you know, so they're like, well, maybe you're seeing real UFOs. And I'm like, no, that don't make any sense. You know, I'm like, what makes more sense? That I'm going crazy. You know, I was already fucking, you know, a little, yeah, to begin with. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's it. It's just finally, I finally snapped apparently. And then um, uh, Candace was like, she jumped on. She's like, no, mom, dad, he's actually seeing UFOs. I saw one with him. And she did. She had seen one with me too. And so, um, you know, like, uh, like I was really, you know, I'm like, it's weird how like they kind of like just take over your whole life. Like when, you know, they, it's like they, they, they follow you. And like, I was like, I, I was just always seeing them. It didn't matter where I went, there they were. And it would, whoever was with me was seeing them too. So it wasn't just me. So I knew I couldn't, you know, be hallucinating, but it still wasn't, it still just didn't make fucking sense. And I, I still couldn't accept it. I could still find doubt in everything until that sighting, until the July 3rd one, because I could have touched it. So there was no denying what was going on. Any other time you have a sighting, you know, at a certain point, you're just like, well, it could be whatever, you're not, you're not that close. But I'm talking, I could like, you know, like, you, like talking to someone sitting across the table from you it was like that just a fucking black sphere ufo just sitting there floating above me <laughs> i could have touched it i could have just if i stood up i reached my arm out i would have touched it that's how close this fucking thing was and it's just uh you so know when, when, that, you're just like this is this is the real deal they they exist you know so when you told your parents you you've seen these ufos so so i've seen ufos before but I would never, I don't think I've ever got to the stage where I, I kind of need to, t to say to people, I'm seeing UFOs because I think the fucking, you know, flying saucers in the sky or extraterrestrial or government or whatever, you know? Yeah. What? So you you told your, your, your parents this. Mm -hmm. So there must have been, these must have been quite spectacular, the one. For you to, um, we, uh, what was the yeah. point when you thought? Because it's, it's all right seeing a, a light in the sky and thinking that's a bit weird. That's not a satellite because it's it's yeah. moved a bit too fast or it's moving too slow. Had you seen something different to that? Yeah, so I, I had a few different sightings um, that were uh, that were you know like. What's really the first one? Something. The first one you the remember that really. Uh, and that was um, December 27th of 2010, and it's uh, uh, like 6:15 in the morning, and I'm, I'm driving to work, and um, in How Indiana. Can you remember these days? I can't remember. What, because, I don't even know what day it is now. <laughs> <laughs> because fucking, it was such a it impacted. It was such a big deal that it just it burned in my mind like everything like the fucking i the day the time all that shit fucking just stayed with me because i'm like oh fuck like it was such a big fucking deal Be it's so different from your life experience that i mean it really it really affects you i it affected me to the point where i got tattoos on my neck yeah for, I, of, about them. I, I know, know i know some of the information but uh, some of the people watching might not know so so this uh, back to this sighting this this first one yeah it's um um i'm on my way to work and uh in indiana there's a in the morning it gets real foggy and it's like creepy fog this is like scary man's fog you know and um and so like i'm driving and everyone has to slow down because the fog is so thick and as i'm i'm driving I see a fucking bright light come through the fog and it's right over the treetops. And I'm like, at first I thought it was like a helicopter, you know, 
but I'm only doing like 30 miles an hour, you know? So I'm just, I'm creeping. So I kind of roll down the window and I'm fucking, I'm looking at it, but I don't hear anything. I don't hear the helicopter. I'm like, that's fucking odd. And that's all I see is the light at first. And then as it, the, it starts coming over to treetops, I could see that it's a fucking black triangle and it's got two red lights on one side of like the front side of it. And then another light on the other side that I could see for a glimmer. And I don't know if there was another one after it or what, but that's all I could see. Now that starts flowing across the street and I'm like, <laughs> it's got this, the, the light was actually a dome that was underneath it. And it looked like it was filled with liquid light. And there's a cheesy fake CGI video on YouTube of a triangle with a fucking half hemisphere. That's kind of what it looked like. That's the um, one that Top of the Long showed on uh, Joe Rogan, what? isn't it? <laughs> yeah, that cheesy looking fucking CGI one. All right. He was high that showed like... that. <laughs> you know, that, but that's, that's almost what it looked like, except the, I mean, the craft just looked kind of fucking. It was just weird, you know? It just didn't fucking fit in. And um, it's totally silent. And it's like the size of a fucking, like a jet fighter. So it's not really big, you know? Um, And uh, I pull off to the side of the road. And I fucking open up the door. And I get out. And I'm like, it's just staring at this thing, dude. And it starts floating across the street. And it's just creeping. And then it turns. But it's still going in the same direction. So it's like, it's as it's going, it goes like this, you know? And as it turned, I felt, boom, it's looking at me. And I'm, I'm looking at it, and it's looking at me. Like, we're looking at each other. And I'm like, it didn't have a front. There's no eyes. There wasn't a fucking cockpit. It wasn't like even the pointy triangle part was pointed at me. Okay? I was like, one of the flat this? edges. You know, oh, oh maybe, maybe 200 feet, maybe, you know? And um, I could feel that this thing's looking at me and it starts, so it was going across the street, but now it starts coming along the side of me, you know? So it changed its course. And as it's going along, I could feel like it's staring at me. And then all of a sudden I start feeling all these different emotions, but they start coming in these one second intervals, intervals and they, they don't fit with the situation at hand so um like i'm feel i'm like i'm happy and then boom i feel sad and then boom i feel jealous and then boom i feel ashamed and i'm telling like i start going through all these different emotions like bam 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 and th th they're like fucking shocking me it feels so fucking weird because none of them made sense it, it, it didn't make sense for the for the situation at hand and then the last one i was like boom i fell in love with it and i i fucking i loved it so bad and, and it started it was in like away. A, like a sexual way like a fucking um like it like it was my girlfriend you know like <laughs> you know like when you look when you have like your first love like in high school you know that's what it's like i was like i, I was like oh my god like i would have followed it if i could have you know if the road would have gone the same way as this damn ufo i would have fucking followed it to the end of the earth um but i couldn't and it was going over these fields and shit which fucking broke my heart and it, it really made me sad, man. Like I wanted to cry. I, it felt like my girlfriend was breaking up with me because I couldn't chase after this thing. You know, that was, I was so fucking in love with it. And then it was just, I watched as it just floated away into the distance, you know, until I couldn't see it anymore. And then I got, I sat back in my car and uh, I was shook. So I fucking, I'm like for a half hour, I couldn't drive. I just, I was fucking, I was in shock. I was just like, what the fuck just happened? Like at the, all those different emotions and seeing that book in UFO. And I'm like, it, it couldn't have been a plane. Like I was like, there's something was, it, it wasn't right. You know, I'm like, what the fuck? Dude? So it really fucking affected me. I was stuck on the side of rope about half an hour. And then, um, it, you know, and then, and then I, I went to work and, <laughs> you know, that was my, that was my first sighting, but that kind of, uh, um, and it didn't stop there. Like, and that's the thing. I knew I or I had a feeling that I was gonna see a UFO again. Um, and I don't know why, you know, but I just I just had a feeling that I would. And um, and that feeling started to grow more and more 
as I was seeing more and more UFOs. Like I, I knew like, you know, they were like, it wasn't over, you know? Um, and, uh, I don't know what they, what they wanted. I've never been inside a UFO. I've never seen an alien, <laughs> uh, but I just feel, um, that they were just, uh, collecting data, I guess. Like if you were to study, um, you know, a animal in the wild, you just kind of collect data this on it. Triangle, do you think that's, do you, do you, do you believe that that triangle is extraterrestrial or do you, do you, do you think yeah, it, in hours? It feels, it felt alien. It didn't feel right. It didn't belong in, in our world, you know, like it, it shouldn't have been here on earth. It just, it didn't fit in right. And um, it's, uh, it has like this real awkward kind of feeling where you're just like, uh, like, you know, it's like, you kind of, it, it's almost like kind of gross. I don't know how else to describe, describe it. Like, it's almost kind of gross. Like it doesn't fit in. It doesn't belong, you know? And it's, so you just have this kind of like awkward, like what the fuck, you know, not like you're afraid of it, you know, but just like, that doesn't, that's not right. You know? Um, but then, you know, you, you know, quickly go into, you know, fascination, you know, shit like that. So the crop circle uh, that's on your neck here, that, that's, yeah. that's on top of, that was on top of your, uh, you painted that on your um, UFO platform? On my roof, actually. I, did you already have that on your neck when you painted that? Uh, no, I didn't have the tattoo yet. So what made you uh, put that pattern on your roof and put that pattern on your neck? So um, I don't, like I said earlier, I don't believe in Bigfoot or Loch Ness Monster. I don't really believe in anything, any of the paranormal, so-called paranormal stuff, okay? Um, uh, UFOs is only because of my experience. <laughs> um, and, so, and same goes with uh, crop circles. You know, I, I, I don't believe in crop circles. I think they're all fake, so... Um, but uh, I was, um, you know, online and um, looking up some UFO videos and uh, trying to research the subject because I didn't know anything about it. And through, like, the images on Google or something, there just happened all of a sudden this symbol was there. And I was like, what the fuck is that, dude? I'm like, that... And I, it's like... Um, it's like... Uh, it's like I remembered something that I forgot, <laughs> you know? And I was like, oh yeah, you know, like that's it. But I didn't know why I was like that. I don't know, I'd never seen it before, you know? And so, um, and I was like, I, I don't know, like, I'm like, I'm like the, the crop circle. And I, it's not that I, I didn't see a picture of the crop circle. I saw a like a black and white drawing of it. So I didn't actually know it was a crop circle. And so when I'd seen it, I was like, oh, man, that's it, blah, 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 blah. And then later on, I so discovered just that it was a crop circle. And you thought, I'll take that, tattoo it, one on my neck. No, well, I thought, I, it felt like I remembered something that I had forgotten, and but I didn't know what it was. I was just like, oh, my God, that's it. That's it. That's the thing. Did you look into I don't the know drawing? What Did you look into the meaning of it? Yeah, the drawing, you know. Yeah, I, I mean, I'd looked into it, you know, but people have all kinds of crazy esoteric bullshit you know but um it, I mean, it's supposed to stand for like um um like life um movement and the evolution of consciousness or something um but it just like it was just weird it, and it wasn't until when i realized it was a crop circle that i was like i'm getting a tattoo you know because i was like i knew it meant something i don't know what and I still don't believe in crop circles, but God damn it, <laughs> you so, know. So that on your net was a cross, uh, was a crop circle. Yeah, I get, it's actually one of one of the real famous ones, apparently, you know. Um, uh, uh, because if, um, if you got a link for that, I'd I'd love to put some like pictures up. On, send me some after if you, if oh, you can find it. Absolutely. Oh yeah, absolutely. Uh, it's um, it's a great one because uh, it's not one. It's one of the rare ones where they're like uh. They can't find that evidence of, uh, you know, the man-made shit, yeah. features and stuff. Yeah. 
you know so they're like you know um a lot of people are like oh yeah it's legit it's legit i don't know if it's legit or not i'm just telling you that the symbol means something it meant something to me it meant something to the motherfucker who made that <laughs> you know uh and i'm like i gotta get it tattooed man and um but uh, i didn't have it tattooed at that point you know uh, when i painted it on the roof i just knew i'm like this is i knew if this is gonna sound crazy, but I knew if I painted that symbol on my roof that I was gonna have a UFO sighting, and I did. And I, I, I knew if I painted it on my fucking roof that they would show up, and uh, and that's what I did, and they showed up, and I and I had another UFO sighting. I'm like, Let's, you know, I don't know what the symbol means or or how. It, it works but that's just how i felt and that's what happened and that's you know how it went down <laughs> so the 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 delta on your neck now i i know the story of that yeah. because that follows on from your um from the uh, sphere pro correct tell us about that um so and how long after the probe was that um this was uh just a just a few months you know it was there there all the sightings were real pretty close at that time um and uh the i went out to go excuse me i went out to go ufo hunting by myself i had woke up in the middle of the night with this fucking killer urge to go UFO hunting and it, it blew my mind because I'm like I got up and I'm so fucking tired dude you know but I'm like I gotta go and uh, I hopped in my car and I start driving to a location I've never been before <laughs> but when I got there I knew that that's where I was going that's why I was like oh that's it that's a spot right there I don't know how I knew but that's why I was like that's where I gotta go um, and anyway, I'm, I'm at the I'm in a parking lot at like some synagogue or something but I knew that that's where I needed to be. <laughs> uh, and I'm yeah, just hoping to see a UFO. And I see this uh, this ball of light going across the sky. And I'm like, oh, man, that's awesome. I'm hitting it with the laser. And I watch it go all the way to the horizon. And I'm just wait, staring at it, waiting for it to disappear. And it um, it stops. or it, it, it appeared to stop. And um, because I'm like, well, it hasn't disappeared yet. And it looks like it's just sitting there. And as I'm sitting there just staring at it, waiting for it to like just disappear, it all of a sudden it starts growing bigger. And I'm like, oh man, this is fucking awesome. Like it's getting all bright and shit. I'm like, that's fucking cool, dude. And as I'm watching it, I realized that it wasn't grow it wasn't growing bigger. It was coming straight at me, like directly at me. And so it just, you know, like the 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 way you're looking at it, your perspective, it just appeared to be getting bigger, but it's just coming at me at a real fast rate. And um, and as it was, as it started getting closer to me, I I got super excited because I knew, like in my heart, like I knew I was going to see what was underneath the light. So I had seen many, you know, fucking balls of light and stuff like that in the sky, but you never see what it is, you know, you just see the light. But this time I knew I was going to see it. And it came over, and as it got closer, the light went out. And amazingly, because I was not expecting this, the light goes out, and as the light goes out, it forms. The light like goes away into this black flying delta that's flying completely inverted. Okay, so it's not flying like this, but it's flying like this. It's totally inverted. And um, and that the light like started, it fucking just disappeared, and formed this fucking black flying delta. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, I wasn't expecting like that. I didn't know what I was expecting, but not that. It was so fucking, like, the shape just didn't go with it because I just seen a sphere of light. And now the sphere is not a sphere. It's actually a fucking inverted delta. Like, it didn't make any sense. And then it starts, like, turning and fucking flying, like, directly across from me. And I could see that it's got, like, these five separate, like, lights on it that are, like, you know, evenly spaced out throughout the craft. And um, the lights themselves are basically are basically white, but they appear to show every color 
in the rainbow. So it looks like maybe if you're looking at the you know Sirius star or whatever, how it just like flashes crazy colors. That's like what it looked like, but it was basically white. But you could see it like turning every different color. And then um, the uh, I had this fucking high powered green laser, and as it's floating across the street, <laughs> and it's just creeping, dude. And it's fucking crazy because it's not making a sound. How big and is this? Thing? I'm like, it's huge, dude. <laughs> this thing was fucking gigantic, man. I mean, it, it had to be a, you know, fucking, you know, a couple hundred feet across, dude. Like this giant fucking craft, man. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking this thing's just gonna fall out of the sky, like it's just gonna slip, you know? Because I'm like, it's not, it, its wings couldn't even hold it up, you know? Because they're completely inverted now. And I'm just like, this is so fucking weird. And I take the laser and I start hitting the craft with it. And I noticed something that when I hit the the black part of the craft, I could see that the laser, which normally whenever you hit, it just shows a dot or a line going yeah. to the object, and then that's that's it, just a line on it. And all of a sudden, I hit the, the black part of it, and when the laser hit it, the laser goes up to it, and then it looked like um, like green electricity was kind of waving around it, like it was going like this, and it had like this kind of watery, shimmery fucking electric effect, where it, the laser appeared to spread out. And it didn't like wrap around the whole craft or anything, but just fucking, you know, which a point that should have been like this, you know, was like all of a sudden it was like going out this big, you know, like fucking like the the light is rippling around it. Yeah, like fucking it shouldn't have done that. It should have just been a fucking dot, you know, like any other laser, but something it had something over it. It looked like, you know, if it was like electricity being zapped through fucking water like if you had like a bunch of green lightning bolts like going through water kind of and it had like this ripple kind of like fucking shimmer effect where it was just like it was really pretty looking dude like i was like wow man that's fucking cool like it was really pretty looking it was fucking amazing you know and uh i watched it just fucking float on by and go in a in a direction where i couldn't follow it and uh and I think I watched this thing for a couple minutes, dude, like fucking go off into the distance and fucking disappear. Like, it's like I'm sitting there watching this thing and you're thinking like, OK, well, it's, and that's it's just going to take off. But no, it's just slowly and it crept the whole time. And I'm like thinking, God, I wonder how many people are seeing this, you know. So this uh, was the middle of the night. You woke and just no, woke up. This is in, this is in the, I woke up in the middle of the night, but the sighting happened. The sun was already coming up. So it was, the so it was like. You drove, was it 40 miles or something like that? No, I've gone that far before. But at this point, I think this one was probably like maybe 10 or 15 miles or something, you know? But still fucking far to a place I've never been, you know? How long were you waiting for that? How long were you waiting there before something happened? uh, Probably like three or four hours, you know? So, so you just got an urge to get up. I think I'm gonna. There's gonna be something happening there. Yeah, like I knew I was gonna go see a UFO. Like I just did. I you knew it was did you happen. take? Did you take anything to film it with? Uh, yes, I did. Um, uh, I had fucking um, but the shit that I had at the time, um, I ended up like I had a camera and shit with me. By the time I saw the UFO, the camera was, the battery was already dead. <laughs> like I said, it took about like three or four hours. And so I had the camera on and I was just like kind of filming shit and stuff like that. And then, the, you know, by the end, the fucking battery is dead. And I was just like, oh, fuck. And I still hadn't seen it and everything. I was like, what the fuck am I doing out here? You know? And then oh, I'm gosh. like sitting there clutching myself. And then finally I saw the fucking light. And I'm like, oh shit, dude, you know? And I didn't have the camera at that point, but I was like, I didn't even care. I was just like, I was, it was there for me. I was like, I, you know, I didn't really care if I filmed it or not, you know, but I mean, it, it pissed me off that I, I, you know, I didn't have the battery. I was like, God damn it, dude, you know, um, cause it was fucking, you know, it was daylight, dude. And I could have, uh, you could have, you could have definitely made it out, even though I just had, I had a shitty camera at the time, you know, but, uh, so have you ever <laughs> seen anything that's been, have you ever seen a UFO sighting on the internet? that you've looked at and thought that's my sign 
Maybe not that one, but maybe one of the. Have you ever? That is mine. Oh yeah. I know this person's mm-hmm. not lying. That is my. That's my UFO sighting. They've caught the yep. same thing that I caught. Yeah, absolutely. I have, um, you know, uh, several different uh, UFOs. We, uh, in fact, um, what about, moon, the, what about about the Delta? Uh, what's up? What about the Delta? No, I've never seen them. I've never seen one where, uh, um, I've never seen the Delta UFO, uh, like on YouTube, like the one that I saw. I've never seen one of it. That's like know? the thing that is described, though, that goes over Arizona. Phoenix Lights. Know? Yeah. yeah. No. Mm-hmm. But sp- yeah. smaller. A, 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 yeah, basically like a flying wing. So, you, you know, know. Who, that that you described. I can't imagine that being hours, you know, starts off a little fucking ball. Yeah. You know, I mean, like, uh, uh, you know, with the Phoenix, with the Phoenix lights, like, uh, you know, and I mean, that, that craft they were describing was huge. This, okay. Well, the craft I'm talking about was big, but not like what they're saying, you know, they're talking about this thing. It looked like an aircraft carrier flying in the sky, you know, I mean, there's the, craft i saw was a big fucking thing but you know i'm like yeah you know <laughs> i mean like it it wasn't like, like a fucking like a mountain or something flying in the sky you know but it was big you know i mean and it's just weird because it's like this big fucking like house just floating through the sky you're just like what the fuck do you like you know it, so it's, have, it's, it's, have you got anything that's happened that you haven't discussed yeah, and I, I um, you know, it's a uh, um, it's just uh, you know, like um. It was so fucking crazy, you know, and, um, that, uh, you know, I don't know if, um, it's almost like, uh, um, I don't want, I don't want people to think that I'm fucking crazy. I know I'm not, because. It's too late for that, mate. (laughs) Right. I had a uh, my my uh, my ex girlfriend actually experienced it with me, and um and uh we have some of it on fucking on tape, you know. Uh, Is this when you but, were UFO proof? No, no. This is a uh, this is um right before UFO proof, right before you know you know right before I started UFO proof. Uh, but, um, you know, I don't know when it, you know, I'm sure, I'm sure I'll say it one day, you know, but it's just like, um, well, is it something bad? No, 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 no. It's good. It's just that, uh, like, you know, (laughs) you, like you find something out. And then um, you you <clears throat> you're kind of like the fucking you're like the keeper of that information, you know. And so if you if you you know it's it's you know it's on you if you if you fuck up and 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 say something, you know, where who knows what could happen, you know, and. Uh, so it's like you don't I'm like I don't know if I want to um Oh, I, I don't know if I want to put that on myself. <laughs> you know, I don't know if it's like the if it's the I just know that you know that if I I felt really privileged to 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 of what happened. And um and you know and people are always like, yo Oh well, you know, I don't feel special about fucking. I felt special about this, you know. It fucking it was this, you know. 
Is like, this I, the sign that you're not telling us about? Yeah, it's this is the sighting that I'm not tell, that, that, that I won't I won't tell anybody about. Uh, you know that it's, I, I I feel privileged. You know of having you know having that experience and then getting the the information that I got and um. Can you give us anything so I, In, information? What do you mean information? I don't. Yeah, see, I don't really want to. That's the whole, that's the thing, you know, like, it's like. <laughs> and well, okay, I mean, I guess I could give you, a, I guess I could give, a, I guess I could give a little bit of some, of something about it. That's um, where it's not giving anything away. But, um, you know, uh, Oh, I'm intrigued, man. I really just am. The location. Okay, just the. I know the location. And so. That's, you know. <laughs> you know the location of what? <laughs> that's it. A base? I just know the location. I just know the location. And so I don't want to, you know, I don't want it to be put on me, you know, and, be, and you know, and have a, a bunch of people go in there and fucking shit up or fucking, you know, disturbing shit or, you know, but I just, it's so, it's like, you know. So, so you know the location is either you know the location of something that's going down or that has gone down. I know the <laughs> location of something that's hiding. And we don't need to know the location. Yeah, you know. Yeah, um, yeah. Kyle, you fucking um, hiding in E.T. And, <laughs> and fucking feeding him uh, Smarties or whatever they're called. I'm not torturing him. Oh, God damn it. All right, he's fine. No, just... <laughs> no um, I mean, uh, you know, just. Uh... I just. I like that's what like you know there's just things of it where I'm like it exists what exists and I know its location and I'll know if it's the right thing to do to 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 say anything you know I, I like I mean I would fucking I would hate that fucking you know that something fucking bad happened because of it or fucking you know or who knows man but <laughs> i you know and i feel like you know i i i got i got previewed to that and i felt that's why i'm like i feel like you know privileged you know and i'm like oh that's cool you know and i, I mean my uh my ex-girlfriend knows as well <laughs> You know, she's, so it's not like, um, you know, it's not like, oh, it's just fucking me and I'm fucking super special, you know, like, you know, it's probably, it might be a bunch of people who know, but I just know that I know where it's at. And, uh, so I'm you know, guessing by what you're saying, when you sp it's like you're speaking about something that has feelings. <laughs> It's possible. I mean, um, not, I mean, are we are we talking? I'm not talking about an alien. I tell you that, okay? But it's not fucking Bigfoot, is it? <laughs> fucking Harry in the Hendersons. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's uh, it, it's it's UFO related, you know. Um, but it's uh. 
holy shit, you found where the probe's hiding now. <laughs> Wouldn't that be fucking cool, dude? <laughs> That's fine, mate. If you don't want to, if you don't want to tell us and keep us guessing, I don't think. I don't think yeah, I'm not, I'm not. I'm just not ready yet. There's a, you know. There's Is this what you? With it, you know, I also have, I also have videotape. I also have fucking some crazy footage that you know I've never showed anybody, and um, and actually, you know, my my ex Sasha, who that's the girl who was with me, she's actually in the video. You know, with this fucking this shit going down, like it's fucking crazy, dude. You know, but um, after it happened, I was like, we got to keep this to ourselves, you know. And she fucking she knew just like I did, you know. She was like, yeah, a hundred percent, like you know, we can't we can't tell people about this, you know. And then uh, just because we felt so fucking privileged. You know, just to see and know, and we're just like, wow, man. But that's but, uh, but Kyle, the public have a right to know. What? The public have a right. <laughs> shit, man. I think the public's got a right to know. <laughs> Fuck that fucking public, dude. <laughs> so, it the the, the the experience you're talking about now is it, would you say that? You, the best one yet you've had yeah uh i mean um you know uh there's a couple of them that really stick out you know um but that's that um like that's where it all like culminated you know that's what it was all all the experiences i had before were all leading up to that one you know and uh yeah you know i mean i've had some other really cool fucking sightings um in fact uh I, you know um i had some sightings in um kingman arizona as actually in a documentary about ufos <laughs> in kingman arizona and um there was um uh a cop in fucking california and where we were like you know like like we're, we're, he's looking from i'm in arizona he's in california and we're both looking at the same time and saw the same ufo and so we both fucking reported the same fucking ufo to these fucking people and they it was funny because um i told them about the sighting and they're like they're like this is a, it's amazing like we just had a cop in here telling us about that exact sighting and he was in california or wherever on the highway and describe the exact same thing you know and we at the exact same time and shit like that and it's just it's just funny the way it worked out you know um yeah yeah like, oh man i've had some crazy weird sightings too man uh that one was a uh, that in uh kingman the one that the eye and the cop scene was it actually um at first, it looked it was just these three red lights that would pop, pop, pop. Three red lights turned on over. Um, uh, was it Halasupe uh, Mountains um, in Kingman, and um, uh, they, they light up and then they all go out like they went one, two, three. And they're kind of like in a triangle, and then they went out one, two, three like that. And then it looked like. Um, a giant red teardrop like it started out round at one end and it curved and it came to a point okay so it's like round like curved and it comes out like that and it goes all the way down to a, a sharp point and two of these giant red lights appear right over top of each other and in between the two were these red spheres so it kind of looked like a fucking hamburger in the sky if you will dude um uh and this giant bright red fucking like craft and then the fucking shit went out and um <laughs> uh that's the exact same sighting that the cop had seen and reported the exact same description that i did you know even with the, the three lights coming on and off at the beginning of it you know so it was fucking it was really who was cool. this report though 
Mm. Who was it reported okay. to? Um, I just reported it to these uh, documentary filmmakers um, when uh, they were, you know, interviewing people who had UFOs experiences and stuff like that. And um, and so they were like um, just where asking we, me about different. Can we, where can we sightings. find this documentary with you in? Um, I think you can. I don't know actually. Um, if you find it, I'll put it in the link. Yeah, uh, I, 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 I have it, and um, you know, uh, um, you know, ergo I am, you know, Tony. Yeah. Yeah, That's Tony can get it, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Tony got me that. Bless him. <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah. Perfect, dude. Yeah. Fucking. Uh, uh, hit up Tony, dude. He fucking um. Yeah, well, um, yeah. Yeah, he's got he's got it, man. Yeah, Tony's. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, um, but yeah, that's uh, uh, I believe it's called Kingman or UFOs over Kingman or some shit, dude. Yeah, I'll I'll I'll, I'll ask him if I, I'll put the link in the description as well. Um, so with everything that's going on at the moment, uh, you know that this whole um, these three pieces of footage you know that the that, that oh, a lot of people a lot of people have debunked but now they're keeping the mouth shut and they're not saying fuck right. all now <laughs> what do you what do you make of all this it's totally legit it's absolutely 100 percent. no legit. i know it's legit they don't, what yeah what, do you think do you feel that something's gonna come like if we're gonna get some more p if we're gonna get more evidence you know what I you know what I have a feeling's gonna come? The um the uh the color footage. Um you know, cause that they have it, <laughs> you know, and everyone knows about it. The you know, uh Captain uh Favier uh, uh you know even said he's like yeah, he saw a copy of it, they he knows that they have it for hundred percent. They have high definition fucking you know, um images of it in fucking you know full color fucking high def uh, i think it's only 1080 but 1080 was like the top of the line back then you know and 2004 or whatever um but yeah they have high fucking quality footage of it where you see it clear as day and um you could even see like the little appendages coming off the bottom of it and stuff you know so uh they yeah, they has got like you know you talking about the tic tac with the, t- the two light l's yeah, correct. And they, it's like you can clearly see that on the footage and everything. Like I have a feeling that that's come, that's going to be coming. Um, someone's going to get a hold of that and you know get it out because it's like if they already got this stuff out, then what's the issue with you know, um, bringing that stuff out? Well, you know, the the only issue I can think of is you know the um uh the technology. Um, they don't want to give away you know how they fucking how they could acquire something like that. But I think, you know, that's, it's going to get to a point where they're like, you know what, that, that kind of information is no longer going to be needed. There's no need to classify it. You know, people can just do that standard now. So that yeah, go ahead and release it. You know, I bet you that's the only shit holding up, up that stuff, you know? Do you think this would have happened without uh, to the stars Academy? No. And I, uh, you know, it's not like I, you know, I'm not a Blink 182 fan. I never was. Um, I, I liked uh, a bit, bit of Blink back in the day. I never, I never listened to them, dude. You know, uh, but w- you know, Tom DeLonge fucking did it right, and he did what every other person in our field wanted to do, and the, he did it the right way. And I got nothing but fucking, you know. I give him nothing but props for doing that because he fucking did it. He used his fucking star power and he got his ass in there and he fucking did it and he didn't do it. Fuck it. He went all the, the everything you needed to do. He had it done, you know, so you could say that there was no questioning it because I mean, like, you know, a, a lot of other people could have got a hold of the same footage and released it. And it, you know, people would be like, what is that? It's a blob on the screen. I don't even know what the fuck I'm looking at. You know, that could be anything. He made it so everyone knows this is legit. This is the real deal. And even now, and that's nice because, uh, and people still don't accept it. And it pisses me off. 
And they're like, you know, well, you think the, are they ever going to come out and disclose and admit that they already did? <laughs> they already did. So we already know that UFOs exist. So now we just got to get the public into, you know, repeating it constantly and letting people know, yes, it is true. Okay. So the question's already been answered. UFOs do exist. Now that's where I, I stop myself and I try to, you know, get other people to stop themselves and saying, well, is it extraterrestrial? We don't know. You know, it's like they they film the craft. It's not like they're talking to an alien inside. They don't see an alien in a window and like fucking waving at them. They have no idea what it is. They just see the craft. They see the UFO. So the UFO exists. They don't know what it is or where it's from. Now, I believe that these UFOs are in fact extraterrestrial because they don't fit in. Now, now I can't really say that they're from, um, you know, another planet. I, I don't know. I don't have that information. I don't have any evidence, you know, supporting that. Um, for all I know, they could, you know, maybe it, it's fucking um, uh, an intelligent species that used to live on Earth during a different epoch. Okay. So can you, would you say that that's extraterrestrial? Well, you know, technically no, <laughs> you know, but it just doesn't fit in anymore, <laughs> you know? So who knows? But when it comes to UFOs, that question has been answered. Yes, UFOs exist. And still, we don't know what they are. That's why they're called UFOs. They're unidentified. Yeah, I, I think, I, I personally think Joe Rogan should get Tom DeLong back on. Uh, I don't know if it's going to happen. I, I did, I made a prediction that it would be Lou Alexander that goes on, Joe Rogan, um, which I think would be amazing. Um, but I think there's so many people that have kind of, pushed it aside and gone it's a load of rubbish this that and the other and I've, there's a lot of people that have debunked it and they've shown fucking fighter jets and they've they've, they've mapped it over the fucking yeah and uh, so nobody's I, saying shit now nobody's saying shit uh, i seen uh, um uh who was it uh what's what's their name um ufo seekers ufo seekers yeah, UFO seekers. I I had to do a debunk on them simply because they they attempted to debunk the videos. And it was so bad <laughs> that I'm like, look, okay, you know, you're reaching. They were they were reaching so far because they're like, oh yeah, we'll see you see if a, a heat plume and show a jet. And I'm like, look, okay, you using the same fucking footage, okay, from the same system, the at FLIR system, all right. I fucking went and got footage from the at flare system of fighter jets and what they look like. And you can clearly see the jet. You can clearly see the fucking plume, the heat and all this shit at the end of the jet and clear as fucking day, you know, proving that what they're looking at in the footage is not a fucking jet. It is fucking that simple as that, you know? And I'm like, didn't they Tyler, did didn't, didn't Tyler show that up on his channel? Um, Secure Team 10, didn't he, didn't he put something up about UFO seekers debunking this? I think that's yeah, my, where so I might have seen it or something like Because I know Tyler had a bit of beef with Tom DeLong for, for a, bit, a bit, which he probably regrets now because he should have got him on instead of Greer. He, uh, right, you know, he, he, um, he put out a video um, talking about the you know tom DeLong getting ufo researcher of the year and shit like that and he was a uh, he was a little pissed in fact i have a video <laughs> um where uh um i'm kind of uh um you know doing the same thing as tyler where i'm i'm kind of salty because i didn't get the uh I've ufo hunter it. of the year award and um <laughs> you know you gotta remember and, and tyler and i are friends at this time and i still i had to put out the video because i was like this is too funny <laughs> it was just too funny so i kind of did like my own impression of um you know someone who was a little salty for not getting their award but you know and that's the thing he 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 didn't fucking he was pissed that he, he didn't get the fucking award or some shit and so i think he was just um you know just hating on the videos not that he didn't think the videos were real but like he was hating on them and so because he started hating on them and then UFO seekers, they're coming up at the time. They're wanting to try to fucking blow up. And so uh, they're talking to him on Twitter and and they see that he doesn't like Tom DeLong and shit like that. So they're like, OK, well, we're going to kiss his ass and we're going to put out a video trying to debunk it to support Tyler's fucking claim. 
And it was so bad. It was so terrible. They were reaching so far. I'm like, dude, everything they said was fucking false, dude. And I go like, I can show you why everything they're saying is fucking wrong. And so I did. Um, because I mean, that's the truth. And that's what had to come out that they, they, you know, they were just reaching. It was, it was a terrible fucking debunk. I'm all for debunks. Okay. Debunks don't bother me. Um, you know, I, I never feel like I'm losing a fucking UFO. Okay. I feel like I'm fucking, um, you know, gaining the knowledge of, okay, that's what it really was. And so I'm like, okay, I feel better because I don't want to sit there and, you know, believe, oh yeah, this is a UFO when in fact it's not, because then in the end I look like an idiot. So I'd rather fucking know <laughs> because it's happened to me several times where I'm like, There's oh, this something video, that's my go there's some that you do, yeah. and but when you find when you know you know it's not a, a a real UFO, you're a bit disappointed. and You're like fucking hell, I've got to debunk that shit. Right. Now. Exactly, it's, and it's happened to me several times where I was like, I was supporting. I was like, this is the UFO, this is the real deal video. You guys are idiots. Blah 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 blah. And then as I did my research, I come to find out I'm wrong. Okay, it's not a UFO. And it hurts so fucking bad. And I got to go out there and fucking admit it. But uh, that's what I got to do. And I'm just like, oh, fuck. And it breaks my heart. And I'm just like, man, you know what? That was my go-to video. But you know what? The truth is, is I found out what it was. And and that's just so I just got to fucking say it. Now it's on to the next one. You know? Just that's that's the way to do it. Just on to the next one. Don't let it fucking make... Don't feel bad. Because it's like, you still know UFOs exist. <laughs> you know? So I, I'd rather know the truth. And even if it doesn't agree with what, you know, I want it to be. Yeah, I totally agree, mate. Um, I mean, there's not, we don't have much time left because I like to keep them generally about an hour and a half. Um, but while we're on the Tyler subject, what? Nah. <laughs> we'll just keep it brief. What, what, what do you make of this whole situation that's going on at the moment with well, these I wanna ask, no i want to ask you something all right dude okay what do you think of this fucking this this fucking nocturnal news guy dude <laughs> see i i messaged him on his channel today and said you know what four months four or five months ago when tyler was arrested you put his mugshot all over your channel and oh, now did? Yeah, yeah. If you go back to his first video, he's slamming Tyler. Um, I put I put a video out at Christmas, and when everybody was putting the videos out, and just I and, and I can't, after I, I was kind of like, should I put the video? In? Oh fuck it, I'll do the video. So I put the video out and just said, look, why don't you leave the fucking guy alone? You know, he's going through shit. And yeah, that's gonna get me views, but I kind of wanted to put the video out anyway. Do you get what I mean? It was, it was like a fucking double-edged sword, whatever they call it. But the nocturnal news thing, he was fucking absolutely rinsing the shit out of Tyler. And then all of a sudden, he's sticking up for him. It, it don't wash with me that shit. I mean, I like yourself, I've been speaking to Tyler for two years. And to start off with, we were both swearing at each other. So, and he's put some shit videos out. Security Team 10 has put some fucking shit videos out. He's probably hoaxed some videos. He probably will never put his hand up. I wish he would. He'd do him a lot of good uh, and say, yeah, I hoaxed some videos. But I don't agree with going to a man's personal life. We yeah. have, we've all got shit, you know, that we want to be left in the fucking closet. But that Tyler is, you know, he, he's... This guy's got problems. Leave him you alone. Know, this, the thing is, is that, um, you know, and that's why, you know, I never, I've never put out a video with it, you know, because I'm like that, you know, that's fucking his business. Who gives a fuck, dude? You know, I was like, I, I never watched Secure Team 10 because I gave a fuck about what goes on in his fucking life, dude. You know, I was watching for the goddamn UFO videos. So I never cared about that shit, dude. I wasn't going to help propagate it, dude. I'm like, fuck all that, you know, but this, this fucking nocturnal news guy, he like, the first videos I saw from him, you know, a couple of weeks ago when he first was coming out, you know, in support of Secure Team 10, you can just tell that he was so on Tyler's nuts, dude. He wanted to be his friend so fucking bad. And it's like, oh, yeah, Tyler's going to make me fucking, 
you know, yeah, big and fucking he's going to fucking boost my channel and all this fucking shit, you know, and he's sitting there talking about how, oh, yeah, we're fucking good friends and shit like that. Motherfucker, if you were fucking friends, you wouldn't give a fuck about him boosting your fucking channel, you know, you would just stick up for him, you know, like fucking. And then he goes today and puts out a video talking about how, um, oh, yeah, fuck Tyler and, you know, because uh, Tyler wouldn't fucking give him a shout out or some shit like that, you know. And, um, you know, didn't fucking, like, boost his fucking channel. And, and it's like, dude, <laughs> you know, it just shows that he he never gave a fuck about Tyler. He was just like, he's like, oh, dude, the dude's got a huge channel and I can fucking use him to fucking boost my channel. You know, that's all he ever gave a fuck about. And fucking, you know, Tyler knew it. And I think still Tyler was still going to go and do some shit for him or whatever, just wasn't doing it fast enough for his liking, you know, and and, uh, you know, he puts out this video of just fucking bitching his fucking ass off about him. And, uh, um, you know, the only thing that fucking bothers me was, uh, um, you know, him kissing uh, Lions Ground's ass, you know, for whatever fucking, you know, whatever. Who, and I'll tell you who, what. Uh, Drew, who Tyler, who Tyler all. Um, yeah, Austin, Tyler. Tyler kissing his ass. Yeah, Tyler. Because, uh, you know, kissing uh, Heathcliff's ass because, um. You know, he put out that video or whatever where he's like, I'm talking to Lions Ground subscribers or whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know, like fucking, you know, just totally kissing his ass. And I'm like, what the fuck, dude? He, you know, I'm pretty sure I'll tell you what I think happened. Um, I think that fucking Lions Ground had fucking, you know, how many of his little fucking lackeys with them just striking the fuck out of any video they could until they finally fucking hit something. And they gave Tyler uh, two strikes, you know, and, um, it, it and got four. yeah, and you get, I think, oh, is it up to four now? He got four. Uh, oh, yeah, I've got, the, so, I've got the, the, the evidence on, on, I didn't so, think, you could, I did not think you could get four, but yeah, you can get, I, it's not fake. I've, I've printed, it's, sorry, Tyler, I have, <laughs> yeah, I had to, I had to that, check. That's it, what I'm thinking. Is that he got, uh, he got up to the fucking limit to where if he got one more, he was going to get shut down off of YouTube. So if you and, and I, um, get, if you and I got one, two, three, if we got three strikes now, your channel wouldn't end. You'd have so many days to try and sort it out, basically. So you get four or five, <laughs> get ten fucking strikes. It's fucking. And last I knew, you could get. Last I knew, it was just uh, you got three strikes. That's, That's what last I knew. They changed That's what I thought. Now. You know, but, um, you know, I think he got up to where he probably had one more strike and his channel was done. And, um, uh, and he knew that fucking the only way to save his channel was to go on lion's ground and fucking yeah. beg he his had, fans to stop trying to stop, six you know, days. stop his I've seen the message. He had, it said, you have six days or this channel and this, this channel will be terminated. It's exactly. See what I'm saying? Like fucking, you know, like so he was just fucking on there, like kissing their ass because like, I'm, I'm gonna lose my channel if I don't get these guys to stop fucking harassing me and striking every one of my videos. So fucking Heathcliff left him no choice but to do that, and that's completely fucked up, dude. And that guy's a fucking sick fucking maniac who's so obsessed with Tyler, dude. I mean, if he was any harder on his dick, he'd be a fucking condom, you know. He's just think, so fucking obsessed with Tyler, dude. So <laughs> it's like, do, do it yourself. Move the fuck on. Man. So I, I, I'm not going to, I'm not going to bash Heathcliff because we've been good friends in the past. But for me, what, what he did with the, the strikes. And if I'm going to look at it from two different angles, okay. He, Heathcliff was fighting for the guy in China the logo it was okay so if we look at it from that angle okay yeah, but if we look at it from that angle say this guy in china is really fucking upset about his logo being used okay so he's said i don't speak much english heathcliff does speak english he's like can you sort it out for me that way i would kind of maybe understand a little bit and then tyler just gets rid of the logo okay but hear me out here for a second, because I, I, I do still disagree with this completely. It's fucking bullshit what happened. 
Um, the guy in China doesn't give a fuck. He yeah. doesn't give a shit. And he if you, Heathcliff's just put a video out, uh, and he's basically said he said, you know what? I've given Tyler a second chance. You know, he's playing God. Um, and uh, what about the guy in China? Does he not give a shit anymore? <laughs> you know. He, he, the, guy he never cared forgiven him. the guy in China had didn't give a fuck. He didn't. He, no, the he's only one who gave because he because if he gave a fuck, if he if he gave a shit, this would still be going on. There'd still be a lot of trouble going on. You know? So you know. it's Lion's Ground. It's his it's his fucking he wants to take it, Tyler it, down. You know, he does. Exactly. He, I, it's his I, have, I have to say, I have to say, the one thing I do have respect for is he doesn't give in. Once he's got to be in his fucking bonnet, he's coming for you. He'll probably come for me, <laughs> but I don't know. <laughs> but And Heathcliff, if you listen to this, by all means, you're welcome on the channel. You can debate me all you want. Um, <laughs> Dude, but, I'm just saying, it's like, why, do, why does Heathcliff care about Secure Team 10's logo? Who gives a fuck? He won't why like he care? that I'm, that I'm interviewing, interviewing you. He won't like that, you know? You know. But it's I, just, I, it's simply because he just wants to fucking, it, all it comes down to is money, all right? Tyler was fucking, Heathcliff came to Tyler and begged him for money and said, I'll take down all my fucking videos if you fucking pay me you know, I need $650 a month for the next six months. Tyler, not caring about the videos because he's like, fucking, it didn't affect Tyler at all anyway, was like, you know what? I'm just going to help you out and paid him. I know this to be true, dude. You know, I've seen the fucking emails between them two. All oh. right. He paid him $650 a month for six fucking months. And then, uh, you know, obviously he's like, I'm not going to keep fucking, you know, supporting and paying for you all the fucking time. And he stopped paying him. And then, you know, Heathcliff starts pulling this other shit, trying to blackmail him. And so the same thing with this shit, with the strikes and everything. Guaranteed, he's fucking sucking money right out of fucking, out of Tyler, dude. Guaranteed. You know, that's I, all. I, don't, I honestly don't know if there's money involved. I've spoke to Secure Team 10. No money involved. I've not spoken to Lions Ground. I probably will. And, you know, I'll probably get him on. Um, he can speak his mind. Because I think, Tyler? I think I think it's only man. fair. I think it's only fair if if you know if, if we're going to accuse people of that give give every party. It, it, I would like to get fucking Lions Ground and fucking Security Ten on together. I think it would break the fucking internet. <laughs> Not in a million fucking years would I have no, those two fucking no. idiots on my channel, dude. I'd be like, you know what, dude? Literally. I don't care. <laughs> I'm like, unless one of you guys are a fucking alien, <laughs> I don't fuck. I don't give a fuck about your personal life. I'm fucking, you know, I'm like, whatever the fuck they're doing. I'm like, it's so fucked up what he's doing. I I want nothing to fucking do with it, dude. You know, you know what it's, not what I, it's not what I'm on YouTube for, you know. I you mean, know like, it, it's a total cat fight, dude. You, you know, know it's, it's like in, in all of this. You know, it really makes me fucking. I actually, I, the other night I was in bed and I, I just I burst out laughing. Is third phase of moon? I just sitting back and they're just watching this shit go on, and they're probably like, "This is fucking amazing." You yeah, because yeah. now they're in the number one UFO channel, dude. You know, they're like, "Good, keep you fucks up busy, dude, and let us fucking get up here, dude." You know. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, there's nothing, I, everything that I say here, I'll say in the message to all these parties involved. I, you know, yeah. through all this, I've, I've not messaged Heathcliff because I was like, I, my channel got fucking striked twice by Scott C. Waring in one day. And Heathcliff helped me sort it out. And then he does the same thing. So he, he, he said, this is fucking bullshit. It should not happen. But then he did the same thing. So for me, he that's... Like, the channel? Fucking oh. Scott C. Waring striked me twice. Nearly got rid of my channel. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I remember when you hit me up on Twitter. Dude. I told you how to fucking uh, what yeah. to do, man. <laughs> it, it's fucking. Yeah. It's it's bullshit. I don't it like is, the whole strike. I don't like the whole strike. If, 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 no, he can make as many place. videos. He can make as many videos as he wants. That's fine. He can make as he can make videos. He won't make videos. He won't bother with me. Um, he can make as many videos as he wants. But don't fucking strike a channel. Other channels, nah, asked, you know. Other other channels have asked me to strike channels before, and I've said he's going. On fucking rampage dude scott c warring right now is going on a fucking good to the oh, point i know where i know needs, you know i know be taken out. <laughs> you know i know oh oh yeah of course dude exactly <laughs> yeah Too he's much. just fucking he's dude he's fucking he's going crazy with it right no, he's fucking he owns people. the fucking moon he owns the he owns mars that's what he thinks he thinks he owns fucking Google Moon, dude. That's what he fucking thinks. Do you realize how fu- like this is fucking? You know what? I'm not. I'm not down with fucking striking fucking channels. I'm. I'll strike his fucking channel in a heartbeat, dude. I mean that this this fucking guy, dude. I swear to God, man. You know he's he's fucking. He's going too far with it. You do not own Google Earth, motherfucker. You don't own Google Mars. He thinks he owns every fucking picture of Mars on NASA's website, dude. <laughs> you know. Yeah, um, it, 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 I'm gonna have I, to fucking, I'm gonna have to wrap it up, man. I gotta go check on. Uh, it's I fine. Go check on We've been again. going over an hour and a half, but yeah, UFO proof, Kyle. Thank you very much. I will leave your channel in the description, um, guys. If you got questions, leave them in the comments below. And uh, yeah, hey, check out. Hey, thanks for having me on, man. It was great talking to you again, Oliver. You know, yeah, yeah. Uh, we we go way back, Alien yeah. Attic. I appreciate it and uh, I enjoyed it. I had a great conversation with you. All right. All right. I'll talk to you later. Catch you later, buddy. Catch you later. I made this.